Well, Microsoft went and did it. They made my workaround to disable Windows S mode not work anymore. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you a new and better way to disable S mode without creating a Microsoft account. Stay tuned. I often have customers purchase these really cheap computers, typically from Walmart, and they come pre-installed with Windows S mode. Because for some reason, Microsoft needed a version of Windows that was even more stripped down than Home Edition. In order to disable S mode, you have to sign in with a Microsoft account and go to the Microsoft Store. There used to be a really easy way to disable it in Windows 10 that didn't require a Microsoft account. All you would have to do is go into the BIOS and disable Secure Boot. Once you boot into Windows, S mode would automatically disable itself because Secure Boot was disabled. Unfortunately, that doesn't work anymore with Windows 11. So last week, I had a system in my shop with Windows 11 Home S mode, and I wasn't gonna create a Microsoft account on a customer system simply to disable S mode so I could set up their computer. You see, the problem with S mode is it doesn't allow you to install any apps outside of the Windows App Store. It also doesn't allow you to use the command prompt, the registry editor, and a number of other administrative features in Windows. It also doesn't even allow you to install apps like Chrome or VLC Media Player. You're stuck with Microsoft's version of those apps, which to me sounds like an antitrust issue, but who am I to question big tech? Many people may simply create a Scratch Microsoft account that they can use in a situation like this. Unfortunately, there's some pretty big issues with that. First of all, I simply don't want to. I'm stubborn in that regard. I don't want a Microsoft account and I will not be forced to create one. Second of all, by creating a Microsoft account that you're just going to use temporarily to disable S mode will associate the customer's Windows license with your Microsoft account. You don't know if you're going to be the next tech working on that computer in the future. Trust me, when you do that, you make my job a lot harder. Imagine telling a customer that you, they have to purchase a new version of Office because their license is associated with the Microsoft account that the old tech used when setting up their computer in the first place. Ultimately, I think if we just accept this and do what Microsoft wants, nothing will ever change. In fact, eventually it will get worse because the long game here is Windows as a service. Right now, Microsoft is trying to get you used to a Microsoft account so that in the future, they can charge you monthly for Windows just like they do for Office 365. So, since I refuse to comply, I have to find workarounds in order to continue to do my job. So, that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna to show you how to disable S mode on any system with any version of Windows. This process is easier than creating a Microsoft account. In fact, it only requires one registry change. Unfortunately, without access to the registry editor, it kind of complicates things a bit. So, let me show you how to do it. Okay, so here we are on my system here, and I had to actually kind of fake this a little bit because unfortunately, I simply couldn't keep the customer's system for a week to fit with my recording schedule. So I had to bring that back to them. So I set this system up to be in Windows S mode. And if you click on start here, go into settings, and then scroll down and go to the about section, you'll see Windows 11 Pro in S mode. Now, before you ask, I just wanted to say that even though I'm faking it on this one, it is legitimately in S mode. In fact, I'll show you in a minute that it won't let me run any apps just like it won't let you in S mode. And I went ahead and tested this several times on the customer system when I had it in my shop. I took it out of S mode and then put it back into S mode a few different times just to make sure that it was possible so that I could fake it on this system here. So let me show you. So if I go into here, and this is something I actually found out just this morning when I was getting ready to record, but any kind of app that you install outside of the App Store, like for instance, let's say OBS Studio, it unfortunately won't let you run it because Windows is in S mode. It kind of complicated things in how I was gonna do a screen recording today. So unfortunately, I'm having to record this externally by my backup recorder, but that's okay. It's why I have a backup recorder. But on top of that, if I try to open Chrome, same thing, won't allow me to open it because it's in S mode. And also, if I wanted to open the registry editor, so if I go reg edit here and try to open the registry editor, 
it's the same thing. Microsoft won't allow me to run it. So unfortunately, in order to fix this problem, you gotta do a little bit of a workaround here. So to do that, what we wanna do is we wanna click on the start button, go into settings, and then from settings, you wanna scroll down until you find recovery. And from recovery, you wanna click on advanced startup and push the restart now button. And this will boot your system into recovery. This is gonna take a second to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and I'll meet you back once the system's booted into recovery. Okay, so that took me a second to reboot actually. Unfortunately, my external recorder, it had to fiddle around with it a little bit to get it to work. But obviously I have it all working now. So let me show you how to do this. Once you get the system booted up into recovery mode, the first thing you wanna do is click on troubleshoot right here. So once you click that, you wanna go into advanced options. And then from advanced options, you wanna select command prompt. And once you click this, it should open up your command prompt window. Now, if you have a Windows password, it's gonna require a password before you do that, but that's okay. Go ahead and enter the password that you normally use. And then from this point, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to type one thing. You simply wanna type regedit. And that's gonna open up your registry editor. Now, be careful though, because this registry editor is going to edit the registry for recovery, not for Windows. So you can't actually go in here and make changes to the Windows installation with this registry editor without doing one thing. And what that is, is to actually load the hive into this registry editor. And it's really easy to do. What you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and click down on local machine right here. And then from there, you wanna go up to file and you wanna hit load hive. And then from there, you wanna to scroll to the hive that you're looking for. And that's gonna be located in your C drive. First off, right now we're on the boot drive. That's not what we want. We wanna go into our C drive. Then from there, we wanna go into Windows and then scroll down until you find System32. And it's all alphabetical. So go ahead and find System32, click on that. And then you wanna scroll down again until you find Config which I think I already passed. So let's go, yep, right there. Okay, so we click on config. And then from here, we wanna scroll down until we find system. Now this is the hive that we wanna load. There's a lot of different hives in the Windows registry, but we don't have to worry about those right now. Right now we want system. So go ahead and click on system and click open. And it's gonna ask you to name this hive once you load it up. So it's easy to do. What I'm gonna name this is just simply offline system. And then from there, it should load offline system right here into the registry editor. And from this point, now everything that we do under this key right here, we can save into the Windows registry once we're done. So let me show you how to do that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up right here, offline system, and then we wanna go into control set 001. Yours might simply say control set, but if you don't have control set, then go into control set 001. And then from that point, go into control, and then from there, we wanna go into CI, and then we wanna go into policy. And then from policy, you can see that we have these three different D word values right here. Now you might actually not have one of these, this verified and reputable policy state wasn't on the system that I originally did this on, but the first two were. But the only one we're interested in is right here, the SKU policy required, and it's set to one currently right now. So what we wanna do is open this up and change it from one to zero. And at that point, go ahead and hit OK. And then once you've done that, go ahead and scroll back up, click on Offline System again, and then go into File, and then you wanna click Unload Hive. And then what this is gonna do is unload that hive from this registry editor. And once you do that, you can go ahead and just close the registry editor, and then follow through and close the command prompt also. And then at that point, we wanna click Turn Off the PC. Okay, from here, now that the system shut off, all we have to do is fire it back up and S mode should be disabled. So let's find out if it is. I'll meet you back in Windows once the system boots up. Okay, so here we are back into Windows. And as you can see down here, I'm already using OBS Studio to record. So the video quality should be a little bit better. And I got my fan control back, which means my fans are a little bit quieter. So we can already see that unapproved apps from Microsoft are working. So let's go into start. We're gonna click on settings here. And then we're gonna scroll down to about. And right there you can see Windows 11 Pro with no S mode enabled. And as you would expect, all the different apps open like they're supposed to. And I'm not limited by any of the restrictions that come along with S mode.
So as you can see, it's really not that hard to disable S mode. And like I mentioned earlier, you can re-enable it the same way. Just change the same registry key back to one and S mode will be re-enabled. There are some good reasons to do this. For instance, if you have a family member that clicks on every pop-up window they see and constantly is installing stuff they shouldn't and always coming to you to bail them out, well, then enabling S mode might save you a lot of time. However, it might tick them off too. So keep that in mind. It also will force them to use the Microsoft apps instead of alternatives like Chrome and Firefox. Ultimately, there's a good chance Microsoft is gonna find a way to restrict your ability to disable S mode. If that happens, then I guess I'll just make another video. But in the meantime, this method works pretty well. With all that said, if you'd like to see more registry tweaks for Windows 11, then check out this video where I go through quite a few. And there's also a part two to that video, so you should check that out as well. As always, you guys have a great day.